Welcome to RV Hour, powered by Giant Recreation World. An honest talk about the RV lifestyle, travel, costs, tips, and everything you need to know. Each week, we'll bring you the best and most helpful info, travel hacks, and answer your camping questions. Now, here's your host, Larry McNamara, CEO of Giant Recreation World. Hello! Old and young audience is the same. Oh, yeah. We don't care who, what, where, when, or how you are. Right, no, sir. Uh, this is the RV Hour. I'm Larry McNamara, CEO. Dwayne Adams. Co-host and producer. He probably should go first because uh, without his efforts, there would be none of this. No, you're the main man. I'd be sitting here in silence without you. Uh, right, Not okay. today's show with it. So, you know, we have, uh, <laughs> you know, right off the ticker date. <laughs> this just in. Uh, yeah, there you have it. Uh. The Orlando RV Show yes, sir. is up and running, folks. It started on Thursday. Here we go. And it's going through Sunday. Sunday is Sunday. Sunday. So with that being said, <laughs> uh, all I can say is, wow, it's never been bigger. Yeah. And we haven't had one in seven or eight years. Seven, eight years. So it's at the Osceola Heritage Park. That's right. It's, uh, you know, if you want the GPS coordinates, 1875 Silver Spur Lane. Kiss Emmy, three four seven four four. Nice job. Yeah. Well, uh, and uh, Sunday it ends at four o'clock, but other than that, it's nine to five every nine day. Five. Yeah. Uh, admission free, parking free. That's right. Uh, service animals only for uh, facility rules and reg. That's right. You know. They say you could bring a pony. Well, if it's a service it's, animal, it's a service you animal. Know, you have to put that little, uh, the little, uh, you know, sweatshirt shirt on there that yep. says uh, service animal. That's not right. A pet. You know. <laughs> uh, they got a, a door prizes they're giving away. There's all oh, kinds yeah. of cool stuff. Uh, did I mention there's a lot of inventory? There's all the big dealers in our markets, with the uh, exception of one. Who's that? Is, uh, is uh, going to be displaying 50, 60 oh, units. Yeah, look at that. But uh, we have the, uh, of course, the biggest display is Giant Recreation World. That's right. Uh, because we have three locations in our market area. Well over 50 display. Yes. And uh, then we have uh, Camping World's going to be there. That's right. They have, a, a, well, two locations in our area. Yeah, they broke it up a little bit there. Right. Uh, then we have uh, Blue Compass. They have one location in the area. Yes, sir. And we have uh, the all-new General RV slash Independence RV. Up the street. They're going to yep. be there. And there's there's a couple of smaller guys. And vendors. 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 As far as the eye can see. No, that's kind of a lie. Yeah, but there's a lot of them. There's I mean, they fill a pretty large space there. Yeah, so because we're talking about that RV show, mm -hmm. uh, we're going to have pricing that you will not be able to beat all, at, at the show, at the lots, all the same. Come on. We didn't, uh, because we have three locations, we didn't rob any one particular location, so we still have a good, uh, uh, you know, selection at all locations. Oh, yes. Yeah, and a lot of people know that that they uh, they skip the show, come straight to the dealership, try to get the best deal they can. Well, that's you know, you know, I always said the good thing about shows is it gives you an offer, an opportunity to see everybody's stuff together. Yep, see it all. Bad thing about shows is you really don't know who uh, the brick and mortars are to back the inventory. Yeah, you that's know? a fact. Sometimes they're little mom and pops with no shop. You know, just mm -hmm. nothing. You find a nice model and you can't even take it home with you. It's just, just uh, uh, it's you think you're buying it from a big guy because their RV display looks big, mm -hmm. but uh, it's not the case. Not so, so much. Now, at this show, I I would say most of everybody there is going to be a big guy. Yeah, all so, the big boys are coming. We all we all try, and we're all part of the same Florida RV Trade Association. That's right. That's who uh, is uh, putting on this big shindig for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they well, do a really good job over there. No, write your senator. Say, hey, senator, thanks, man, for the RV show. Come on. Uh, I invite everybody to go. It's going to be a great event. It is going to be fun. Yeah. So uh, at this event, uh, you know, some because it's been so long since we had one there, okay. I think it's been at least 17, 18 years since the show has been at this location. Oh, at that location? Yeah. Oh, wow, man. Uh, and the last time it was there, the number one, it was bad weather. Oh, that'll you know? do it. Yep. But uh, it, it, was, it just didn't do well. I you know. uh, got gotcha. you. So, uh, you know, it's funny. My brother w and I were talking about it uh, the other day about the venue because people were still whining about, I'm not sure about this place. You know, it's it's Kissimmee and everybody knows it's uh, a touristy area. There's right. a lot of there's a lot of Spanish 
folk in the area. And, yep. and we, you know, we don't care. We love Spanish people. That's right. Spanish people fit RVs real well because they're all about family and fun. That's Fellowship right. and, fr- fr- and, and togetherness and stuff. Yeah, but, man. With that being said, it's not the case. You know, the the Meekum auction? Yeah. They had, they they sold over $250 million worth of cars Whoa. at the last auction that was at this facility. So with that being said, people it, come out there. It's not a bad facility at all. And that is a record for any any Meekum auction ever. Yeah. Really, man. Yeah, that's so, huge. Uh, yeah. 250 million. I cited who I got that from. So if it's incorrect and you fact check me to find it wrong, <laughs> just blame Joe. It's my brother, Joe. <laughs> yeah. We will write that. Yeah. Joe and Gio. <laughs> so, uh, the Orlando RV Air, uh, RV show, Heritage Park, this week. That's right. Come on. Uh, it started on the 14th, goes through the 17th. Yes, sir. So, we wanted to talk sure. about some uh, some helpful hints while you're at the show. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or what to check when you're when you're buying a new and or used or new to you RV. That's right. Yeah. So uh, Some pointers get you going. So, the first thing you you know, want to take a look at is the uh, the mileage of the RV, and that's what the uh, uh, it's going to gauge on uh, how much wear and tear may be may be left in it. Yes, sir. Now, and it's uh, one of the the pointers that it brought up was kind of uh, if it doesn't sell well and a dealership has to move it around to different dealers, you get those miles on there, and then yep. you kind of get a hint on that how it's a, doing. A little uh, a little break, although, yeah. although it's harder for RVs. Why? Because they drive them down from the factory. Yeah, what uh, what what is our number that we get from Indiana? It's like twelve hundred miles, twelve hundred miles, roughly, give or take. So, so it's going to be hard if we take it to local shows. Yeah, it won't ring up that many. Yeah, so so, so that's, that's a hard why one. I, but I wanted to say, if it's a used vehicle, I mean, consider uh, fifty thousand miles on a motorhome equivalent to about a hundred thousand on an automobile. Ah, uh, there you so, go. So you know, when you're car shopping, they they always say. Don't get it if it's over a hundred thousand miles. Right, things right. like that. Yep. So, uh, the, because the motor the motorhome is so much heavier, they they consider fifty thousand miles that same pinnacle, and it does affect the value greatly. That when it goes over fifty thousand miles, oh, hey, that's have a whole lot less. Oh wow! Unless of course it's a diesel pusher. Oh, those yeah. always keep even, the value. Even up. the NADA book says do not uh, put in the mileage for figuring the value of a diesel. Oh wow! Just saying. Well, look at that. That's some insight. Yeah, man. They're, That's they're, a good they're one. made for a uh, long haul. Yeah. That's why I suggest people when they want a diesel, I'm sure I hope they're full time and they're traveling all the time. There you go. Or, or it's not going to pay for itself. Yeah. They yeah. do get better mileage, but you also have to put the DF, DEF yeah, in them. Stuff in there. Which yeah. is an additive and diesel fuel already more money now. Oh, yeah. I remember we talked. We talked about that. But yeah, that's one good hint. Another one the fuel efficiency. That's pretty uncommon right fuel now. Fuel efficiency yeah. is. It's, it's huge. The, the gas prices are. 350 again. Crazy. I think. I mean, come on. Come on, Joe. Come on. So you want to inquire about what kind of miles per gallon the uh, the coach gets. Uh, yes. And then you can estimate your fuel costs when you go on trips and all that. That's a good deal. Yeah, that really helps out. Uh, and uh, and I've said it before. If you have a, a lead foot, <laughs> then RV motorhomes are not going to get any mileage worth so at all. Hardly. No, sir. You almost be able to watch that gauge go down. <laughs> That's it. So again, get your get your speed out of you before you get behind the wheel of that RV. Oh yeah, or your truck when you're towing an RV. That's right. And and you know go the posted speed limit. Yeah, a little bit less if you're in the far right lanes. Fine. There you go. Cruise it out. Yeah, you man. know, don't let the big boy though. What is it? The tankers. Don't let them push you around. That's right. And uh, if you're in the far right lane, they won't. Most of them stay in the the center lane. Yeah, as a rule, they like to cruise. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. They get gold. But, uh, yeah, if, you, if you're if uh, you mindful of all that kind of stuff and you're tuned up real well, you're not going to get pulled around and stuff. Yeah, you won't so get bothered or anything. So, well, uh, you want to take this second? Sure. What we got here, we got, so the tow capacity. You always want to uh, access the RV's tow capacity to sure it can handle your towing needs. In case yeah. you got a boat, toys. All of that kind of stuff. Or if, you, if you're looking for a towable, make yep. sure your vehicle is towed, uh, you know, rated to tow it. Rated to tow it. Yeah. So, That's big, nothing like getting home and your truck can't pull your RV yeah. around. There's a lot of gray areas in that. Oh, yeah. Where, uh, you know, so, like some trucks can pull like a, an, an F-150 with the, all the towing package and the biggest engine and, the, right. and all that kind of stuff. Uh-huh. Pull like 12,000 pounds. That doesn't mean you go out and buy a trailer that weighs 10,000 pounds. Right. Because that only gives you 2,000 pounds worth of 
stuff, stuff. put in it, yeah. and and it and that doesn't count fill in your holding tank if you wanted your fresh water tank full. Oh yeah, doesn't count all that kind of stuff. Your LP doesn't count that all those tanks all full. So again, be careful. A lot yeah. of people try to keep out. the GVWR of the uh, the total bowl they're buying under what their truck can can go. Yeah. So that's yeah. the most that trailer can hold. Yeah. So uh, that's a lot of because you've always seen the uh, the Ford Explorer. You know, That's pulling right. that big old trailer just wenched down in the just, middle of there. The space is dragging. It's uh, dragging its butt kind of like a dog <laughs> across the road. Yeah. Uh, you also want to uh, pay attention to the water tank capacity, you know. Yeah. So That's determine the capacity of the fresh water tank, the gray water tank, and the black water tanks. Yeah, uh, man. If you, you know, if you're going to do boondocking or not have facilities where you go, you need the, the biggest fresh water tank you can get. There you go. Uh, you also need a big uh, gray water and holding tank because you have to. Uh, go to an off off site location that has dumping and yep. dump. You know, yeah. you don't want to have to do that every day, dang day. No, sir. But, uh, there's all kinds of t- t- hints and everything that my podcast has talked about. That's about how to how to extend your stays that way. You know, or you use a little bit of shower water, not a lot. Yeah, there's all kinds of cool things. Splash showers. Yeah. How about slide outs? Slide outs. There, you know, some people uh, want none. Some yeah. people want as many as they can get, and uh, your lifestyle usually will di- dictate that. I mean, uh, uh, count the number of slide outs and expect their functionality. Mm-hmm. Some people don't. You know, uh, I would say probably the highest end units have uh, hydraulic slide out rooms. Ah, uh, gotcha. And yeah. uh, they go down from there. Yep. Yeah, a lot of people I've talked to aren't even aware that you could get an RV without slides. They that's thought right. they all come with. I was like, no, man, that's a, if you're not aware of how that works and yep. pine cones in there, you got to be careful. We touched on the fuel mileage already, but uh, make sure you, you, you decide between oh, type, yeah. whether gas or diesel is your uh, is the RV you want. Oh, yeah, get you that know. mileage. Uh, the uh, diesels are, are easiest to drive because of the biggest chassis. They have air over, air, air brakes. Air ride, you know, yep, yep. Uh, just like a semi. So you can drive with your, your real relaxed. Yeah, man. And uh, no white knuckly. Uh, gasoline <laughs> coaches, the smaller they get, the more kind of kind of wobbly boxes they do. Yeah, but, little fling you around there. Yep. Right. But if you're not going to go on long, long trips and stay on the road a long, long time and do, do a lot of mileage, because the average mileage on our motorhome is about 5,000 a year. If that's about what you're going to do or less, don't get it easy. There you go. All, All right. right. So oh. the type of RV. Yeah, yeah. You got um, motorhomes. You got class A, B, C. Then you got C, D. Then B, D. Then B plus. <laughs> then B, D plus. Yeah, I know I'm confusing you, but uh, uh, again, it's a good thing to to do that before you're ready to uh, make the bike. Oh, yeah. We've talked about that many a times. Yeah. Check our old podcast. We've got uh, plenty on those guys. You got travel trailers. You got fifth wheels. You got travel trailer toy haulers. You got fifth wheel toy haulers. You have destination trailers. You have park models. You have uh, mobile homes. Mm -hmm. You have fold down. Oh, yeah. Class A's, class B's, class A diesel, class B diesel. Yeah. Uh, And you have teardrops. I mean, there's so many different things to choose from. So many. So, uh, again, do your homework. Yeah, man. The bathroom type. Determine if the RV has the, uh, the full bathroom with the toilet, sink, and shower. Or if it'll be a wet bath or a cassette toilet. Cassette toilet. <laughs> Some pop ups even have like a uh, a portable toilet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, again, lots of stuff to consider when you're buying an RV. Yeah, that's a big one. The cassette toilet, man. That's a. It's got to be something to to change out compared <laughs> to just your regular clean out. True mm-hmm. story. All right, bed size. Mm-hmm. So check the size and comfort of the bed to ensure that they meet your sleeping needs. Well, if you're going to have you, the wife, and the dog, or whatever significant other, or whatever pet you got, mm-hmm. all in the bed, you probably aren't going to get away with like a double. That's you why. Probably the big king. Oh, yeah. You want to give it a go. A lot of people sleep in a king, and then you get in there if it's a queen. You're not really used to be in that Here's another hint. RV bed sizes do not match the same as home bed sizes Ooh. as a rule. So they're usually smaller? So a king than... is a little smaller than a, a you know, big king bed at home. Oh, look usually. Look at that. Not all the time. That's started to change. The change out, yeah. But uh, again, that's uh, again, that's a, that's. A and I'm imagine the ones that fold up are probably a little thinner. 
than something you would have at home. That's so that very created... positive because if not, they'll be too heavy. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah. So keep an eye out on that stuff, guys. You got to uh, ha- make sure you uh, you have all the kitchen amenities you want, you know. Make sure you inspect the kitchen. Oh, yeah. And the appliances, stove, oven, refrigerator, storage space, that's all important, you know. Uh, do you want a well, washer dryer? Do you want a dishwasher? Yeah. Really? You know, just all kinds of different things you have to consider. Do you know, is that a... Uh... Are there any options without a kitchen? Uh, absolutely not. Right. Uh, Everybody to would become have an everyone. RV, it has to be fully self-contained. Oh, that's what keeps you the kitchen. You cannot be fully self-contained if you don't, don't have, have a kitchen. Bam. There you go. So uh, the entertainment options, you know, look for fe- features like TV, sound system, satellite, cable hookups. Oh, yeah. And and there's so much more now. You you got Wi-Fi and all. There's all kinds of stuff. So much stuff. And having it on the outside, the outside TV we've talked about. That's a great place to have your TV. Yeah, Please. HVA systems, HVAC systems. Oh Everybody yeah, knows what that is in Florida. HVAC. You know, test the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system to ensure it functions properly. Yeah, that's big. When you buy from Giant Recreational, we'll do, we do a full walkthrough with you, showing you how everything works and that it works before you do your final paper. There you go. I suggest you find a dealer like us or us Check every time. Yeah, man. Uh, the the electrical system, too. Make sure you, you check the functionality of the outlets, the lights, the RV electric system. And if there's all kinds of automo- auto uh, automated things, mm-hmm. you know, make sure they all work. Yeah. It can be, you know, don't want to have no electrical nightmares. Don't assume. Check right. it all. Right. Yeah. So, you know, we're, we're coming on a break on this first segment. Yay. And, uh. We're going to hit hit this uh, the rest of this list when we get back, plus maybe a couple of ideas on uh, how to negotiate properly. Whoa, there you go. That'll be fun. I'll help you negotiate. We'll be right back. The weather's warming up and spring break is around the corner. Where are you off to? Round up friends and family for a giant recreation world getaway. Go anywhere, anytime. Buy, sell, consign, trade up, or rent. New inventory is arriving daily with all new and selected pre-owned RVs. Plus, right now at zero down and no payments for 90 days for those who qualify. Plan your spring break adventure now. Visit a location near you in Winter Garden, Destination Daytona, or Palm Bay. And at GiantRecreationWorld.com. The only RV dealer in Central and North Florida with the nationwide RV warranty forever oh thank you so much for for staying with us while we had that short commercial break that was nice did i mention that we're on episode number 60 60 zero you know and this is larry mcnamara the way adams. adams and we are here to talk about rvs and rv accessories Ta-da. promote the rv lifestyle and tell you why giant recreation was the best to 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 enter the world of RVing with. That's right. Come on down. Yeah, we have three locations, Palm Bay, Winter Garden, Ormond Beach. That's right. All within an hour, an hour and a half from each other, depending on traffic. There you go. But uh, we're having a, a big RV show this week, uh, right now, going on right now. Going on right now. At the uh, Osceola Heritage Park. That yes, we're, uh, have a, we're, we're there in a big way with other competitive dealers. So Yeah, come and check us out. So we were talking about what to uh, check when buying a new RV. Yeah. Right. Or even used. Because you always want to have a kind of preliminary walkthrough of your unit before you get it, what you're into, what you like. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you check for features like the smoke detector, the carbon monoxide detector, fire extinguishers, etc. Make sure they're there and working within date. Yeah. That's a big one. Especially if you're getting a used one, you want to make sure the fire extinguisher is not already. How about uh, uh, make sure your your uh, your storage space is, is uh, it matches your lifestyle. Yes. And oh, it's. For it, you ain't kidding. Assess the uh, the amount of interior and exterior storage space for your belongings. Yeah. For instance, you're you're ready to go camping. You go into the garage. You grab your golf clubs. You go out to the RV, and you can't find a place to put them. Huge. That means you didn't do your due diligence. <laughs> That's a fact. Am I right? That's a fact. Am I right? That's a big one. Yeah, man. Yeah. You know, cane poles are pretty long nowadays. You know? Yeah. Yeah. What if you're a cane pole? You know, want to fish in the creek? Yeah, man. What not? Or you get a toy hauler and you didn't measure the back side and you can't get your side by side. Side there. by side won't fit. It sticks well, out out the back, so now you can't close the door. Terrible. There's all That's kinds of terrible. terrible. You know, you don't want any of that. Happening. You don't want any of that. Check those uh, things. Make sure the awning uh, operates. You know, test it to uh, yeah. make sure it goes smoothly in and out. Yep. Uh, make sure it provides you the adequate shade you want. Yep. Make sure it covers the things you want it to cover. Like if you're out there barbecue grilling. 
and it doesn't cover that grill area, if it's raining, it's going to mess up. All, it's going to ruin your parade. It's going to get you. Am I right? Yeah, you don't want that. Yeah, it's, and and many awnings have different uh, things too. I mean, uh, in Florida, you don't know, these these thunderstorms can pop up without any oh. expectation. So uh, within minutes, I always suggest people to close their awning if they're leaving or going to the pool or oh, whatever. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Because a big wind can destroy them, and and that's an insurance claim. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants that. Rip oh, it right no. off too. Yeah. But some awnings have a little whirly bird on the top that that if the uh, the wind gets over however much, it'll automatically pull that awning in. Fling it back in. Yep. And then some people actually tie the awnings down, so uh, they they have those corkscrews that go into the dirt or whatever, and. And actually, physically tie it down so it won't be blown off if a storm comp. Extra, all of that good stuff. That is right. Yeah, man. Y'all like that? I like that. That was a lot there. How about you talk about these leveling leveling systems? All right. So if you check your RV has an automatic or a manual leveling system, and you want to use that for stabilizing the uneven terrain. Yeah, but again, there's different levels. Mm -hmm. Uh, Some uh, some levelers actually will actually jack the whole thing up off the ground and you can actually use that to change tires yeah that thing. but it is. Uh, it's that strong stabilizer jacks are only made to keep the, the the sway out of the bounciness out of it when you're walking in it yep they're not made to lift the the unit off the unit up so you oh, can damage yeah. those jacks and uh and whatnot if you try to to make them more than they are make it lift the whole thing up with it yeah be yeah. careful and things are changing. I mean, they're all made in China now, folks. Yeah. And they it's, used to be a, a like three times or four times the thickness. Yeah. You know, those uh those scissor looking jacks that yeah. uh, you used to get used to be able to lift the whole thing. Yeah. The it needs to be made of steel. You they, know, they, a strong they, metal. They don't pound. seem to be able to do that anymore. Not as much. Especially if there's any kind of tilt or anything. Mm. It'll it'll fold them up like a lawn chair. It's scary. You <laughs> yeah, man. So the roof, make sure you inspect the roof for signs of damage or leaks. Yeah, that's a big one a lot of people miss. Yeah, uh, the roof is so important. Many of them are, are they call them the rubber roof or they, they're made out of ABS or, or whatever. And uh, yeah, man. it's a very, very tough material. Yep. However, they can be ripped or torn or cut, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, some, uh, some roofs, are, some people demand fiberglass roofs. Yeah. Some people demand that it's an actual uh, f- uh, fiberglass hull kind of a roof. Huge piece on that. Uh, They've come a long way in the so roof Again, industry. different levels of RVs come with all that kind of different stuff. Oh, yeah. What else we got? We got... Uh, warranty. Uh, bah, bah, bah. So, do we have a warranty that you could speak of? <laughs> <laughs> Home of the lifetime. Bah. RV warranty. Giant recreation world. All new units come with it at no cost to you. No deductible. No gimmicks. No hooks. Nothing. It's from Larry to you. It's all, full it's all included. And then if it's a used coach that's two years old or newer, we'll throw one in that too. Take care of you. Yeah. Yep. So uh, yeah, but inquire the about the coverages on the the, the unit. Oh yeah. And uh, any available extended warranty options because uh, our warranty forever is limited. The uh, the manufacturer warranty is usually only good for a year, uh, and, and the. Uh, uh, when you buy a, a vehicle service contract or an extended RV warranty, right, uh, it it takes that coverage and adds another five years to it, roughly. Oh, there and, you go. And uh, sometimes they have deductibles, sometimes they don't. Those are all can be com- manipulated to fit your pocketbook. Oh, there you go. The good thing about them in Florida too uh-huh. is that they are regulated by the state, so we as a dealer cannot charge any more or less for them. Oh, so wow. That's the the state is involved in that. To make keep- sure you don't pay too much. Yeah, keep you safe. Yeah, but uh, and and it's a and it's a, a policy where if it's not listed as in coverage, it's not covered. So that's very easy and yeah. uh, very self-explanatory. There. Uh, there's no gray area. Yeah, that is. You know? That's nice. If you don't see it listed on there, it's not covered. That's right. And how important are having the uni- user manual, the user manual, the owner's manuals yeah. involved? You know, most of the time they're fairly generic. Yeah, you know, but they're better than absolutely nothing. That's fact. Uh, then we give you the walkthrough and show you how to work everything. Uh-huh. And what do I say is the best place to go if you don't know what you're doing? Right. Yeah. Well, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, YouTube. Oh, YouTube College. That's just the best YouTube, place to get it, man. It's yeah. so easy. You know, you, how do I get my my Dometic air conditioner to quit, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah. You know, 
They do. They've got everybody's on there doing something for your RV. That's, that's a fact. That's a fact. We mm-hmm. do a lot of it too, but do we yeah. promote it? Not really. Yeah. Yeah, they were saying uh, a lot of the components that are in the RV, there's so many in there, that's why they try to get the specific user manuals. There's yeah. like, like, you know, one manufacturer that we represent, let's let's call it the Salem line. Right. Uh, they, they have several lines underneath that umbrella, and there's probably 10 different refrigerators that they use. For them. Yeah, they go you know, So again, different. it's hard to say, so you'll have to go on the YouTube and ask for that specific refrigerator and, uh, you know, and, and explain how, you know, how do you work it? Yeah, there, yeah, and they'll walk you through. They'll give you a walk through. That's very good. Oh, yeah. So you know what else we got? What I you got here? You, I told you I would help you maybe negotiate. Come on, let's get some money you know? saved. So, uh, you know, research and prepare. That's a fact. I don't think that has to go without saying anymore. Yeah, you know, yeah. I was uh, talking to the sales guys the other day, and and ninety percent of our customers come in with fully armed, knowing what the what they can buy our products for and yep. all that stuff before they get to it. What they're looking know? for. We it, saw a lady the other day with a manila folder. She came in with, yeah. yeah. I, I love the manila folders. Yeah. You know, Let but you know you're educated. You know what you're talking that, about. That is a true story. But, uh, you know, do thorough research on the RV model you're interested in and its market value. That's How do you do the market value? It's nadaguides.com. Our website, you know, you can put it uh, on uh, value my RV. Yeah. And it gives you a low and a high, basically, yep. so depending on its condition. In the menu on our website, giantrecreationworld.com, there's a tab for it. Yeah. Value my trade. Value your trade. You can go on there and put and put in my unit. Yeah, you, you know? can put in any year, any model. Of course, that, that that's that for unit. pre-owned. It won't tell you new, really. Yeah, that's the, what you said, the NA, NADA. NADA. Yeah, yeah. That's the RV Bible, by the way. Yep. There you go. But uh, understand the features, the amenities, and, and pricing. uh of comparable models, you know, apples to apples, so to speak. Yeah. Yes, uh, it'll uh, give you the, the leverage during negotiations that you'll need and make the whole process easier. Now, we, we have changed over the years. Now it's so easy to get a price from us. So yeah. easy. We we want to give you a price. How do yeah. you make a good decision if you don't know? If you don't know the price. You know, many of the pricing on our website is so aggressive. We, we don't... Uh, as we say, we don't have an ounce of horse feed left in that deal. Well, that's and fact. We invite you to go shop it. Uh, the only ones that are going to beat it are the ones that had so many different fees after the fact that you don't know anything about. You don't even know it. Or it's a lie. But that's one thing I do appreciate about our site is that you don't hit the 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 great unit that you want. It says click here to find out the pricing. You know, it's like it's all listed. You don't have that's to fill right. out anything. You get the numbers. Uh, establish your budget before you go. So that means uh, determine... Uh, uh, what you can afford to spend, yeah, and stick to it. Yep, it's so easy for uh, for let's say me. I'm so easy. If I go shopping for something, and I get and I'm and I fall in love with it and I want it, just grab I'll it rationalize why I'm going higher and higher, even though <laughs> I went with a game plan. Don't let yourself be there. Uh, that's too funny, right? But uh, there you have it. Uh, visit uh, visit multiple dealerships. Now, uh, I say that primarily to so you can. S- Get the feel of the place. Oh, yeah. You know, is it a big, I mean, we talked about it about the RV shows. Uh-huh. Is this a real place or is it a make-believe place? Yeah. You know, do they offer a, a fully stocked and really good RV re, uh, repair center and parts department, you know? Yeah. How far are they going? How far, you know, uh, just all kinds of cool stuff. Yeah. If you go to our locations, all of our locations have indoor air-conditioned climate-controlled uh, RV showrooms where we park RVs indoors. Super show. Uh, we have, I think we have like a hundred service uh, bays all all in all. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, we have our, we do our own uh, detailing and we have our own rental department. We have our own golf carts, for instance. We have, we have so many things we offer. We pick up our own units. So we have a whole fleet of trucks that, you know, just uh, we're, we're in it. Yeah. hundred percent. We do really good with it. That's what yeah. I, that's what I mean by that. Yeah, and then, uh, Time your purchase, you know, considering uh, the timing of of that, because dealerships will usually give a better deal at the end of the month. Mm-hmm. Or everybody knows if it's raining, that's a good day to go uh, RV shopping. Go RV shopping. But yeah. Absolutely. Now, uh, that's kind of old school stuff. Anymore, we have to sell as many RVs as we can. Yeah. So we always give good deals. You ain't kidding. Hey, hey, you never know. You never know. That's fact. How about you take? I got use, this one. Use competing offers. Oh, you want to use competing offers? You do. Uh, in other words, uh, again, this has got to be on. You can't price a stick and tin, or should I say, a 
aluminum sided with wood frame trailers That's ag- it. against a fully laminated fiberglass travel trailer with aluminum frame, they're not going to be competitive. Yeah. You know? So make sure you have competitive unit. Yeah. You know exactly uh, what apples to apples. Apples to apples. Some of them are wide body. Some of them are not. Don't don't compare one that's not to one that is. Yeah. Not go. an apple to apple. It's apple to orange. <laughs> <laughs> you are not going to get it right. Yeah. Right. Uh, in, in the Class Bs, one's on a Mercedes diesel chassis and one's on a uh, Dodge Ram chassis. Guess what? They're not comparable. Not comparable. Two different <laughs> prices. Two different animals. Yeah. Totally. So that's what we're saying. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. We want to take the uh, extras, which I touched on. Yeah, you want to you want to negotiate your extras. Yeah, which we get all kinds here, boy. We got all kinds of stuff that comes with it. So you want to uh, negotiate the extras, such as free upgrades, extended warranties, complimentary service packages. Yeah, and these uh these add-ons can be significant. They certainly can be. But uh, again, that goes into the uh, the idea about you go in with the budget that you have set. So, if your plan is to add extras, make sure you have the room to add them add, in your budget. That's a fact. So, make it over and above or keep you from getting those things that you want. Yeah. Because nothing, everybody knows, nothing is free, so it's, something's got to move somewhere, so be ready for that. That's right. Nothing in the world is free except uh, our warranty forever to our customers. Oh, nice move there. <laughs> All right. Stay firm what? on your conviction. But be polite. Be very polite. You know, because we don't want to get the egos involved. That's, That's never right. good. Nobody yeah. ever wins in an ego fight. Nobody ever wins. That's fine. Yeah. Everybody leaves huffy. Yeah. And uh, boom. But be assertive in your negotiation. Sell my, this is my budget. Yeah. I told you that. Why are you asking me for more? Why you show me a unit that won't fit in my budget? Only fit That's our budget. own fault if we did it. Yeah. Our salespeople are pretty good about that stuff. They're yeah. pretty, uh, they're trained well to be polite. And uh, when you value price your inventory, which means it's very aggressively priced, there's not a whole lot of room in it. Yeah, so yeah. the salespeople know if you're spending, if you, if your your goal is to stay thirty, that if a if a unit has a sale price on it of over thirty, you know not to show them that. Yeah, one. you're not going to get in that. No. Nope. So uh, that is if you have value pricing, which we do. Oh yeah. Uh, everything get done in writing. Always. Always. Any promises. Got to get it in writing. So don't put your John Hancock on anything that doesn't contain in writing what you all discuss. Yeah. Now, we go even further at Giant Recreation World. We do a complete walkthrough, which we have said. We have you initial and sign a show sheet that, that that's basically saying, yes, you showed me this. Yes, it was working. And boom, boom, boom. You know what else we do? What do you got? We have a we owe sheet Ooh. that we have every customer sign. Wow. And if there's anything that was uh, not done yet or needs to be done, we write it down, we get the manager to sign it, the customer to sign it, and they get a copy of it, and it's in writing. If there's nothing owed, we write nothing owed, and everybody signs it. Oh, wow. There Boom. you go. It's, in, it's, uh, you know, it's an old school carbon paper, three play pages. Oh, it is. It's, yeah, uh, man. It's old school stuff that works. Give you some comfort, too, That's though. right. That's for sure. And then uh, make sure you prepare for your delivery. Oh, that's a big Giant one. Giant Recreation World, we will make sure you're prepared because we send helpful hints. Make sure you bring this. Mm-hmm. Make sure you bring that. Make sure if you you have a digital title at, at uh, somewhere, you you make sure you get the actual yeah, title because we need it. Yeah. <laughs> There's so many things that you have to prepare for yeah they give you a nice list rundown to get you going that's right but those are some good helps helpful hints that'll help you uh, negotiate oh yeah and uh the uh, the the biggest thing is uh information is power so the more information you have the easier things will be that's a fact and if they're not a uh a smarmy dealer like a used car salesman you know they're going to uh steer you in the direction that fits all your needs after all that makes our everybody's job easier yeah that's it yeah, yeah. So uh, you know we're gonna we're gonna come back with uh, Bartos Corner, yay! And uh, we'll be right back after a short message. Need a golf cart? Check out Advanced EV at Giant Specialty Vehicles, part of Giant Recreation World. More than golf carts, the hottest electric neighborhood vehicle. Fastest in the industry. Top speed to 25 miles an hour. Four-wheel disc brake seatbelts. Full-color digital display speedometer. speedometer. Charge meter and more. Plus, all advanced carts have higher impact glass windshields and upgraded seats with matching body color stitching. New inventory, colors, and styles at GSV at Giant Recreation World in Winter Garden. Or online, GiantRecreationWorld.com. Everybody, 
Yeah, I am so excited. The show's going on. Here we now go. we know what to look for. Now we know how to buy it, you know? Now let's talk about what I think you should buy. Here we go. How's that? And let me tell you uh, a couple of cool things. The uh, the Tiffin Midas rebate program. That's an Allegro. Midas. It's a Class B by Allegro. Fancy schmancy. Oh, Beautiful yeah. coach. Beautiful coach. Yeah. Uh, they're offering a uh, $5,000 rebate payable from Allegro. So, again, this is one of those things where you, you come to us, make your best deal, and then you get that over and above it. Extra. And that's uh, that's going on through April 30th. April 30th. Yes. And I think we have about uh, five or six of them. Yeah, the yeah. We have a handful. In yes, Paul sir. Bay. So yep. uh, make sure you come out and, and take a peek. Yeah. They're that's nice. Great, you know, these rebates, when they're factory rebates, are for reals. Yeah. Yeah. Who else has a rebate? Ooh, holiday rambling. Oh, yeah. Their, their only caveat is it's anything that's a 2023. That's right. So uh, that's, of course, their effort in pushing us to get them gone. Yeah. The but, new uh, 23. New 23s. Any uh, diesel is $10,000 rebate, and any gas coach is a $5,000 rebate. There you go. Huge so, rebates. Boom, boom. Come on. And uh, I, I doubt that program is going to stay much longer either. Because, no, no. This, uh, uh, I think this one only goes till the end of March. Probably March the end 31st. of this month. Yep, so you better it. get out there and take advantage of that rebate, folks. Come that's on. a factory rebate. That's nothing to do with Giant Recreation World. No, that's after the a fact. A lot of people use it to negotiate. I'll sign that over to you if you take this. Yeah, yeah. But as a down payment. They don't care. Yeah. It can be a down payment. It can be more money off, you know, however. However they want to use it. Yeah. And it's nice. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, some people want to pay cash, so. They think that instead of waiting for the rebate, they'll make us take another ten grand off of that and wait for the rebate ourselves, which a lot of people do. <laughs> but, That's uh, a good way to do it, yeah, man. Hey, let's talk about uh, one of the coaches that, I'm, that uh, is on yeah. Arto's Corner. It's let's a, hit a hot it, list. It's a 2023 Holiday Rambler Vacationer model 33C. It's a gas Class A motorhome. Yeah, yeah. It's got a uh, what I call a super slide because it's got the sofa. And dinette in one slide that basically goes out the center of the coat. One. Okay. And then in the back, you have the uh, the king bed that goes out the other slide. Yeah. And uh, there's it's a great floor plan. It's a side bath, so it's got a, a huge shower, walk-in shower. It's got a uh, a nice uh, toilet that's plenty of room. Plenty of around room. it. And uh, also has a nice lavatory. Uh, got a full kitchen, has washer-dryer. It has so many, so many features. I just don't have time to talk about them. Yeah, I tell you, there's a lot on here, boy. But uh, the Holiday Rambler Vacationer is their highest end gasoline powered coach. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, full automotive body paint with all the swirlies and stuff. Beautiful cup. Beautiful. Thank you can't you. feel the lines in the paint. You know, it's got bus style uh, uh, baggage doors all around the outside. Oh, well. Uh, awnings, awnings galore to cover all your areas outside. Uh, oh. And uh, because the the uh, the uh, super slide is on the off door side, right? Uh, it doesn't interfere with your awning area. Okay. okay. Or some of them have a, a slide out room that takes up you know three or four feet of your awning area. The whole area. Yeah. So you know, it's just like an oxymoron. Yeah, man. Nice but, uh, this is a great coach. The uh, the list price is two hundred fifty thousand change. Whoa! I know, I know, things are expensive nowadays. But uh, yeah. when you have a sale price of one hundred and fifty-two change, wow. you're almost a hundred thousand off MSRP. Look at that! Throw in that five thousand dollar rebate too, and uh, guess what? It's even less. It's almost half off. It's, uh, it's over <laughs> half off. So uh, it's it's well, that's it's pretty good. Off. That's a lot off, boy. Six figures off, folks. Woo! No, we all wish we made that much in a year, anyway, you, right? Hey, there it is. So uh, we got that one. All right, what do you got next? How about another Holiday Rambler to talk about? This is yeah, the yeah. Holiday Rambler Nautica 35MS. There you go. This is a diesel pusher. The big boy. It is. It has uh, four slides, or a quad slide, as I like. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> so it has a uh, a super slide, and then opposing uh, single slide across from that. So it makes for a nice real big living area. So you have your co pilot and co-pilot chairs that you can turn and face towards this living area. You got the sofa and a dinette across from it, you know, so you, plenty of places to sit and and you can easily see the nice TV Fair in enough. all seats. Yeah, man. Yeah, so uh so I got to ask you this in the back here. Yeah. Is that a little cut through that the TV is on? What is that in the in the middle right? There? Well, let me tell you about that. So 
because it has a, uh, a slide room that uh, goes in in the bedroom. Okay. You cannot get to that area when that slide is in. Oh, oh it's kind of a. It has two entry doors to the bathroom. It's, that's what you're sealing. So, see, what I'm so if you walk through this living area I'm talking about, then you have the kitchen, and across from it is the bathroom. So you can enter the bathroom and go out another door when the bedroom slide is in. Let's say, oh, wow. let's say you just pull over on the side of the road and you want to put all those slides. Yeah, out. yeah. So you can get to the back area where it has the biggest closet you can ever imagine. You ain't kidding, man. It's a whole back end. It's an awesome coach. This is nice. It is a, a beautiful coach. Super big king bed. Quad slides. MSRP, $406,000, $170. Yeah, yeah. What do you got it for? It's sale price of two fifty two one eleven. That's one hundred and fifty four thousand off MSRP. Goodness, couple great. that with that ten thousand uh, dollar, you know. Yeah, rebate, rebate you'll get, and Ooh. boom, making money. That's a lot of. That's one hundred fifty four thousand change yeah. off. You're winning. Yeah, I. Uh, that's pretty good there. I, I I don't know how to focus on that much better, but this is a lot of coach, folks. Yeah, man. Every holiday rambler, there's no cheap ones. Yeah, that is nice. That's yeah. fancy. Yeah, that's that is very more. fancy. Yeah, our good people of Rev manufacture that. Rev, like rev your engine. Rev. Yeah, everything they make is motorized. Yeah, they do pretty good with their stuff. We've talked Although about that's, that. That's They've not true that. anymore because now they own uh, Lance Camp. Oh, so they sell. Part truck campers and where, where, where. Yeah. Hey, gonna, they might pick them up gonna, now. Get it no? with the times, right? <laughs> All right, what do you got next? Uh, I want to talk about a fifth wheel. How about Ooh. the east to west, which we is by Forest River? Oh, yeah. Uh, Tandera. Mm-hmm. It's a model 286RLOK. Oh, okay. And it is a OK, babe. That it is. That's yeah. Nice. The RL means rear loud. There it is. It's got uh, huge. Living area, huge kitchen area, in the in and basically on the very back wall mm-hmm. is a, a big sofa. Okay, that that full full faces the 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 length of the coach. So and Real then wild. you have opposing super slides in the living area and kitchen. Gotcha. So okay, that whole rear of the coach is for for kitchen for for getting together and partying or or talking and visiting and. It's it's just a great floor plan. Has a super huge entertainment center. Good time, you know. Yeah, man. Uh, you can. It's got a huge huge window. So if you're in that back couch, you can look out the window and check out the lake or whatever. You. Yeah, I mean, yeah. this, we're we're talking about happy camping. This is this luxury. It's really nice. And, and it is a fifth wheel. And uh, you need at least a three quarter ton truck to pull this one. There you go. Yep. Uh, and uh, whenever I'm talking about pulling stuff, the uh, the diesels have so much more. Uh, torque mm-hmm. that uh, that's probably the best time to get a diesel truck is if you're going to pull a fifth pull a fifth wheel. Yeah. yeah. But uh, that being said, this is has an MSRP of uh, eighty five five, and we have it on sale for under fifty. So that's uh, it's th- incredible. O- that's over thirty five thousand off list price. Uh, it's a thirty three foot class uh, yeah, coach. Like I said, two super slides. So it's uh, so uh, basically one slide out has the uh, the sofa and the kitchen in it the other one has the dinette and the entertainment center oh that's nice that's so uh yeah it's plenty of it that's cool man. uh it's got a huge side bath with uh, a big shower that you can walk right into huge yeah and uh it's just a great floor plan and it really doing is. so well with this product too they're, and and they're uh they're not very troublesome as far as the warranty goes they're yep. uh, built pretty well they're doing Especially a great job. Probably 50 Shout shots. out to the east to west people. Get them east to west. Yeah. So well, that's uh, great. Yeah, man. How about a throwback from from last week? You want to take this? One? Here we go. A little throwback. Yeah. So this is a Tiffin Motorhome. Tiffin's also got a uh, little rebate action going on. Not on this unit. Not on I, this unit. After oh, this, I found out, this particular one is a Wayfarer. It's a model twenty five JW. JW. Yeah, and uh, I don't think we got to it last week, but we might have. I just maybe uh, when it ran out of time. Yeah. You know, but uh, the biggest deal on this one is it's got a um, a set middle slide that has a, a, key, a queen bed in it. Queen bed. Now, how do you have the bed and the slide in the middle? Well, it also, it, it's a, actually a, a Murphy bed. Okay. That uh, you fold up 
and you put the slide room in, and then the, then it's also a sofa. That's it's a comfortable it sofa, to, folks. This is the most comfortable Murphy bed I've ever been on. There you go. Because most of the time when you have it converts from a Murphy to a sofa, the sofa back is kind of straight up. Uh, not, a little thinner and that. They too. did a great job. This, oh, this is properly uh, properly manufactured. Come and check it out. Give it a test for yourself. Yes, yeah. sir. And it has a uh, it has a nice uh, desk in it made desk in it. Oh, wow. So you it know, keeps so it like a working it's unit. A, it's a great two person coach. Oh, that's all. Or even one person coach. It's a rear bath. It's not a wet bath. I mean, uh, it's on a Mercedes diesel chassis. Yeah, you know, yeah. It's a real coach, and uh, it's two hundred thirteen thousand list price, and we have it on sale for one forty eight. Whoa! Uh, there you it's, go. Uh, Sixty four, sixty five thousand off. How's that for a discount, that's a, man? That's a big discount. That's a lot of discount. A lot of coach. Yeah, I like it's the nicest. Uh, I, we call this a C diesel. Okay. Because it has a cab over. I've told you about that. But make the a difference. Class C is a cutaway chassis where there's a van in the front. This happens to be a Mercedes van. It is. They yep. built the it's RV on top of it, so it's wider than the van and it's taller than the van. And, and they put that cab over bunk on it, so we call that a C. And it's a C diesel, C D. Bam. With a go. slide that is so functional you will not believe it. Take it for a spin. We'll love to take you out on a test drive. Yeah, yeah. It drives just like a, 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 a van. Yeah, it's just a van. Just a van. And uh, it's the uh, it's the clean blue diesel uh, yeah. by by you know, Mercedes, which means it doesn't even have that black smoke coming out of the back. That's right. We've got a, an obstacle course we call Highway Fifty right out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, enough said about that. So uh, here we got a, a twenty twenty three Coachman Freelander. That's a yeah. Forest River. Coachman is the brand. Forest River manufacturer. And uh, Freelander is the sub brand. That's their. Uh, uh, you can't even say entry level anymore because no. uh, it, they're not at all. It's a model twenty three FS. Yeah. Which uh, FS means uh, full wall slide. They've upgraded these. Oh my goodness! You know, you you think about a twenty three model, which mm-hmm. is actually how long it's uh, twenty five foot. So it's pretty close. Okay. You know, but uh, it's uh, it's on a a Ford. Comes with a Ford or a, she- a Chevy. Chassis. I think this one we're talking about is a Ford, however. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, yes, yeah. and uh, it is a full wall slide. So the, the U-shaped dinette, okay. the refrigerator, the pantry, and the queen walk-around bed all go out the one slide. The one slide. Okay. And it takes up the whole the whole wall, basically. Nice. Uh, Easy. Yeah. It's a Class C, so it has the cab over bunk. You know, it's got a swing arm TV in that bunk, so it... So when you you pull it out to see the TV, everybody in, in the whole coach can see it, there even in the bedroom from the bedroom. Yeah. Uh, so it's awesome. You have a a, a a little step up that goes into the the bedroom area to make for the uh, the storage in the back huge. Yes. You know? I gotta say though, it also makes you feel like a little fancier, like you're going into the second area. It does break it up. Yeah. It, it, it breaks it up very nice. It's like in a fifth wheel when you go up into the bedrooms and right. The, it does. It's nice. Uh, but it has a, a, a huge closet in that bedroom area. Yeah. Uh, with uh, and that bed that slides out has massive underbed storage. You know, there's a lot, all, lot to offer with this. Yeah, in man. A smaller package. A know? lot of people forget about the clothes. Shelves That's having right. having a storage space back there for your clothes. It's a big deal. A big closet, yeah, big man. closet back there. It's got a side bath too, so it's very functional. Uh, again, another great coach, and it's not necessarily a couple's coach. It's more of a family floor plan. Family floor plan. plan. Yeah, man. I like the U shaped dinette because yeah. uh, you can sit more at it, and it's more functional, especially if you're having board games or what. Board games, yeah. It's great. It's great for that. Yeah, it feels more family esque. But yeah. uh, you want to talk about the sale prices? Oh, sale price. Here we go. So we have a list price at one hundred twenty-seven thousand five hundred and thirty-five on sale right now for seventy-nine thousand nine hundred ninety-nine. Uh, you can't even get like a, uh, a a suburban or whatever for that kind no, of money. You book. cannot. It's unbelievable. Yeah, that's a good price. Sir. This is a heck of a price, Barto. You are crazy. Killing them. Discounted at uh forty-seven thousand five hundred thirty-six. <laughs> are you listening to these discounts? I mean for. He's aggressively working to get our 2023s gone. Yeah, he's doing it. Before the 25s come. Yeah, Which, man. Who knows? Nobody will tell me. But that's how they That's how they roll. But as a rule, it's usually like uh, August, September. Yeah. But, uh, in the end there. Yep. 
How about the uh, uh, how about a travel trailer? Let's yeah, talk about yeah, yeah. the 2023 Coachman Freedom Express. It's the go. Select Edition 22 SE, actually 24 foot long. Do you remember me talking about those uh, that are available without a slider? Oh slide yes, on? yes sir. This is one of them. There it is. This is a great family first timer floor plan. Floor plan. It's a. Uh, yes. It's got double over double uh, beds in the back. Oh, the bunks. Yeah. 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 So it's uh, it's basically two bunks that are double beds. So, That's fun. You know, four kids can sleep back there. Yeah. It's got a side bath with a walk-in shower and tub. It's got it's got a dinette booth, so you sit four right there. You know, and then uh, it's got a front Murphy bed that that converts into a sofa. Oh, that's cool. so you have plenty of seating for for as many as it sleeps, which is always a, a thing you got to watch out for. Yeah, that's you know? fact. Hey, I can sleep twelve people, but yeah, but you only have uh, six seats. Where do we all eat? <laughs> uh, you know, where do we all eat? Do we need to bring a bunch of TVs, Rays? Go on rotations. You do what you have to do, folks. <laughs> you know, but again, don't forget about the outside when you're RVing in Florida, Absolutely. like we'd like to do. You can utilize that outside area regardless of whether it's rain or shine because you've got your awning, you know. That's a big And deal. if you properly tie it down properly and all that, you don't have to worry about bringing it up. And you can sit on the outside table. Some some coaches come with them, some with them, but some don't. Yeah. But uh, this travel trailer is beautiful. A little bunkhouse, family plan. List price is almost 40000 We have it on sale for twenty three eight eighty eight. Again, it's a perfect first timer. It's fully laminated, aluminum frame. It's a great well-built travel trailer by quality coach uh, you know what have a great time we'll see you next week have a trade get top dollar now and if you need service parts or rental giant recreation world has you covered shop at giantrecreationworld.com or visit their three locations the only rv dealer in central and north florida with a nationwide rv warranty forever giantrecreationworld.com